OK, so in this tutorial we're going to solve the trig equation cos theta equals a negative number, in this case negative 0.5. And the method I'm going to use is often referred to as the quadrant method. Now you may remember from an earlier tutorial on the quadrant method that we had the four quadrants starting at 0 degrees going round anti-clockwise, this was 90 degrees, then 180, 270 and 360 degrees. And in the first quadrant we found that all the three trig ratios, sine, cosine and tangent, sine, cos and tan, were all positive. From 90 degrees to 180 degrees in the second quadrant only the trig ratio sine was positive. And then from 180 to 270 degrees, just the tangent ratio, tan for short, was positive. And then finally in the fourth quadrant, from 270 degrees to 360 degrees, just cosine was positive, or cos for short, was positive. OK, now in this question, what we have is that the cosine of an angle gives a negative value. And for cosine to give a negative value, we must be looking at angles between 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and from 180 degrees to 270 degrees. Because cosine is negative in this, this quadrant, the second quadrant, and this quadrant, the third quadrant. So I'm going to rub these out first of all before I mark in several lines in those quadrants. So we just rub that out. So what you do then is we now know that cosine is negative in the second and third quadrant. So we draw a line from here out to here, mark in this angle, and then we draw another line starting from here, equally inclined to this horizontal line here, but down into the third quadrant. So mark it something like that. And these two angles are meant to be exactly the same size. So always mark them in before you go any further. Now we've got to work out what theta is going to be. And in any question that you get, you're always going to be given a range for theta. So in this particular example, let's just suppose that we're given a very popular range for theta to be between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. Okay. So, if we want to take theta to be between 0 and 360 degrees, that's turning in this direction, what we do is we always start from this line here, okay, in this quadrant. So we start from the 0 degrees, turn in an anti-clockwise direction until we hit the first blue line. And we mark that in as theta. Then we go back to this starting point here, this line, and we turn again anti-clockwise until we get to the second blue line. So we start from here, we turn round, we pass the 90 degrees, we pass the 180 degrees until we hit the blue line. And I always mark an arrow in, it shows me that I'm turning anti-clockwise. Don't forget to mark this in as a theta. And whatever this angle is, theta in this case, but if it was an x, Obviously, just mark an X in these two positions. Okay, so we've now got to get the various thetas. And to do that, we use our calculator. We find theta by finding the inverse cosine of minus 0.5. So we have theta equals the inverse cosine of negative 0.5. Now when I'm using a negative, I like to make sure I put that in brackets, OK? So theta equals the inverse cosine of minus 0.5. If we do that on any calculator, the answer that you get will be 120 degrees. So just mark that in. Now 120 degrees, we look on the diagram clearly is an angle in the second quadrant between 90 and 180 and that corresponds to this turn here, the one given by the red theta. Okay, so the red theta 
is the 120 degrees. Now that means that this blue angle in here must be what is left over um, from the 180 degrees. So 180 degrees, take away the 120 degrees here, leaves us with 60 degrees. So this little angle in here, this blue one, is 60 degrees. And so that means that this one in here must also be 60 degrees because they're the same size. And that can help us get the green angle, the green theta. Because what we now have is that we turn 180 degrees plus a further 60 degrees. 180 plus 60 degrees gives us 240 degrees. So we have 240 degrees. And there you have it. They're the two values of theta in the range 0 degrees to 360 degrees. But in some questions, you're going to be asked to solve equations like this for other ranges. And another common range that you will often find that you'll get will be for theta between minus 180 and 180 degrees. So I just mark that in there. And in order to solve this, what we need to do is draw exactly the same quadrant diagram. So I'll take you through it again. You mark in 0 degrees. You ask yourself where is cosine negative, and cosine is negative in the second quadrant. So you draw a line, mark in this angle always to the horizontal. Cosine is negative also in the third quadrant, so you draw another line, equally inclined to the horizontal line. Just mark that in there. And then we have to ask ourselves which values of theta that we need. Now. Theta will be this one, because if we turn to the first blue line, we know that that's an, a turn of less than 180 degrees, so mark that in. But if I was to start here again and turn all the way around to the next blue line, I actually pass the 180 degrees, as we saw in the last example. It turned out to be the 240 degrees. But what I can do is I start from here and turn to the blue line in this direction, and this direction is the negative sense. Okay, Turning from here down to here is a turn of minus 90 degrees. Turning round to here is a turn of minus 180 degrees. And this blue line is well within this range here. We're certainly not turning more than minus 180 degrees. So what is this angle? Well, we've seen earlier on that when we did the inverse cosine of minus 0 0.5, this angle turned out to be 120 degrees. And that meant that this little blue angle in here was 60 degrees. And so we marked this one in as 60 degrees. And that would mean that because this is 180 degrees, this green angle must be 120 degrees. But because we're turning in the negative sense, then this angle must be minus 120. So therefore, at the end of the day, what we find is that theta equals the 120 degrees that you got here. So that's the red theta. And then we found that the green theta was minus 120 degrees. And so this can be summarized by saying that therefore theta equals plus or minus 120 degrees. So I hope that you've understood that and you can apply this idea for similar questions where we have the cosine of an angle equals a negative value for ranges such as this 0 to 360 or for theta between minus 180 and 180 degrees.